Hey, come in. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd surprise you with the apron. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? Bob Ross might watch my every move, but I find it's given me more confidence to cook and make mistakes. Here, give me that. I'll hang it up. It's a bit nippy today, so the heating's already on. I hope you don't mind. No, I'm just trying to be a good host. Speaking of, do you want anything to drink? Okay, just let me know if you want something. We have water, squash, uh, some fizzy drink, and a bunch of different teas. We like to switch it up every now and then. And Mom doesn't like to only drink one thing throughout the day, so we're well stocked. She's taking a small nap at the minute. Do you want to go into the kitchen? Nothing's wrong. My throat's just a bit sore today. It's fine. I'm still able to cook, don't worry. Yeah, I've already started the preparation. Uh, garlic, onions, um... The water's ready for the pasta. I've got the sauce already waiting in the pot. <sighs> it's a lot. I wouldn't say I'm nervous. I just haven't cooked for anyone else other than my mum. And definitely not for a chef, so... I know you're not going to judge. I'm excited to see what you think about it. Actually, not going to lie, I did look up a few YouTube tutorials to help with adding some extra flair. Some videos recommended adding truffles, but there is no way in hell I'll be able to afford that. Plus, I don't think it's worth adding it for a carbonara, you know? Yeah, I wanted to keep it simple and not go overboard. You can look through the cupboards if you want. Tell me what secret ingredients I'm missing. We don't have that many spices and stuff. I know that the basics are salt and black pepper, but beyond that, I I'm kinda scared to experiment. Cumin. I've seen that in the shops. I'm not familiar with it at all. What do you use it for? Really? Well, if you can use it for everything, then it sounds like something I should buy. I'll get it the next time I go shopping. No, you are absolutely not buying me a care package. I know that I might need help in some areas, but I want minimal guidance with cooking. You said it was all about experimentation and learning what goes with what, so I want to figure that out. But I don't know where to start if I don't know what to buy, so that's where you come in. I said I'd cook for you, so that's what I'm doing. It might be a little basic, but I'm just starting out with complicated stuff. <laughs> yes, spices are complicated. I was curious one day and looked up how many there were. There's loads from all over the world. I'm spoilt for choice, and I don't want to grab something random off the shelf without knowing what it's good for. How long did it take for you to be comfortable choosing what you wanted? Ah, so even you have trouble. That makes me feel a little better. I'll put the pasta in now. I'm just saying that it makes it sound more achievable to get on your level if you're still struggling. Though I guess you wouldn't be able to learn everything about cooking because it's so diverse over so many cultures. Do you watch cooking shows too? I watched a couple of Kitchen Nightmares. The state of those restaurants were just... Ugh, made me way more conscious of how I prepare things and how I should have my meats. Like, um, what was it? Raw meat and cooked meat should never be near one another because of cross-contamination. Shut up! I do not sound like a student. Well, I, I just want to be good. And I want to show you that I can be good. Well, I did say for you to teach me, so I guess you are my chef teacher? Or is there a specific term? Ah, 
So then you're my culinary instructor. Gotcha. The pasta won't be done for a while, so I'll show you around. Come. You remember? Well, my dad's work is keeping him away right now. He's an architect, so he designs a lot. And when they need him, he has to go. I think he's going to try and come back in June or July, but there's no guarantee. Maybe that's where I got my love for art. But his is more structured, and mine is not. Oh, do you remember that? The spelling competition we had to do in front of the whole school. Hey, I take pride in my English, but I remember how nervous I was standing up there. What made me want to compete against other students, I don't know. I knew I could do it, and I was pretty proud of how good I was. And Mom convinced me to face my fears and reach for something that I was really confident about. At home, anyway. Even when they gave all of us that booklet with words I'd never seen before, I felt like I could do it. <laughs> and I did. I know I shouldn't have if I didn't want to be in the spotlight, but for once I just wanted to do something because I could without thinking about what others thought of me or what would happen after. I remember it being embarrassing, but when I won, it felt good. And I try not to forget that feeling. Yeah, I only won because the other kid didn't spell it right. If I'd gone first, I don't think I would have done it. Ah yeah, my graduation. They couldn't have planned it better. It was a nice day and there was no rain for once. My dad booked time off work just to make sure he'd be there. Now that I think about it, we don't have many pictures like this. Oh, shut up. That hat was so annoying. I couldn't get my hair right, and my mum was fussing about with the tissel thing. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, the tassel. That thing. I think she's awake. You nervous to meet her? Well... Back then, I had to tell her something about what was happening at school. I was coming home looking all sorts of ways, so she knew something was up. I didn't name you, and I haven't told her you were one of the boys I talked about. Right now, she just thinks that you're a high school friend I reunited with. That's it. Because if she knew who you were, she wouldn't even let you come into the garden, let alone the house. So, play it cool, okay? Just be yourself. You've always been a charmer. Hey, Mum. How you feeling? Uh, the headache's almost gone, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise your friend was here already. Hi, I'm Kelly. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> You're the one responsible for his apron, aren't you? I used to watch Bob Ross when it aired on BBC4. Fantastic artist. Didn't you used to try some of them with him? I did while you were at school. I think they may still be in the loft. I haven't seen them in years, but I've been thinking about getting into it again. I like art, and thought about it as a career when I was younger. But being a parent changes you. <laughs> I'm just glad he picked it up for himself. No, I just remember watching you draw. And I remember the witch you did one day that actually scared me. How in the world do you remember that? Because it scarred me. <laughs> That's probably in the loft too. Good, let it stay up there. <laughs> Would you like something to drink? I already asked him. Oh, okay. Could you make me a cup of tea then? Yeah, sure. He told me you two met at the library. Hmm, it's about time. He's been doing the same thing for ages. He doesn't give himself any breaks between work and what he wants to do. He doesn't give himself the opportunity to make friends. Which is why I'm glad he ran into you. He's been happier lately. And the only thing that's changed in his life is you. 
So it seems like you might be a good influence. I think you are. He's been more excited about cooking. He watches so many recipe videos nowadays and shows me some of them. It was you who said that we should cook together, wasn't it? I had a feeling. He said he'd bumped into someone at the shop, and when he was putting stuff away, all of a sudden he asked whether I wanted to cook with him. And he'd never done that before. He always told me to relax or put my feet up or something. He wants to look after me, but I want him to live his life too. So I hope you can pull him out of the house every now and then. If that's not too much to ask. Thank you. He's too kind for his own good, you know. I think he needs some spontaneity in his life. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that, though. Keep it to yourself, alright? Good. So, what's for dinner tonight, Chef? Carbonara. The simple kind. I'm sure it'll taste lovely. You always say that. I know. So, what do you do? Business management. My, that sounds tough. Do you have a job? You sound like you're interviewing him. I'm sorry, it's just been a while since I got to meet one of your friends. You know, if you're looking for work, I know some people- Mom! All right, all right. Thanks for the tea. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, um, when will dinner be done? Soon. You hungry? No. I can't eat after I just wake up. We can have it a little later if you're both okay with that. Yeah, sure. All right. I'll be in the front room then. Okay. Enjoy your reality TV. Yeah. She's always looking for gossip if she can't get it from her TV shows. Nah, I don't have time. Only when we're eating dinner. Just sitting together, watching something is a nice cool down to the day. And I get to spend time with her, even if we don't talk much. I think this is done. Do you like it al dente? See, I'm learning stuff. But if mom wants to eat a little later, what do I do with dinner? This should be eaten as soon as it's finished, so... Have any ideas? Really? I never thought about soaking it in cold water. Okay. Ah, so it basically stops it from cooking anymore and makes it not stick. I didn't know that. <sighs> right. Now we wait for a bit. Do you want to go upstairs? I'll show you my room. Okay. It's not a man cave. It's a, a display of artifacts I've procured over time. Like you haven't made any OCs of your own. I'll show you some art of my one in a minute. Make yourself comfortable. Hmm? Oh, right. I'm starting out my collection of figures. I wanted to get the glass case until I had enough things to put in it, but it's starting to come together. Do you like it? I save up as much as I can to get the ones I really want. And I have other income from the odd commissions I do. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people need some kind of artwork. It could be their own OCs or other anime characters. There's a whole community online and it's quite fun to get to know other artists. I wish I could do it full time, but the library pays more so I have to do art in my own time. It sucks, but it is what it is. Yep, that's where all the magic happens. Oh, sure. Hold on. Okay, so this is my most recent commission. You like it? <laughs> Thanks. She wanted a D&D &D character and I jumped at the opportunity. Mm, it took me about two weeks to finish. 
When I get stuck in, I can't do anything else until I've done what I wanted to do for that day. Click the uh, arrow so you can look through all of them. I feel like it's what I should be doing. It's what I'm actually decent at. One day, that's all I can say to myself. One day I'll be able to do this for a living. Do you think I'm... Uh, do you think it's too much of a dream? I don't know. I don't want to give up on it. I can't. I just wish I had more time. You really think I'd be able to? <laughs> You're sweet. No, I, I don't like airing my business online, you know? A lot of people exploit that, and even though I talk to some, I don't really know who they are. So I can't trust them with my real thoughts. Yeah, they're not all like that, but when it's happened before, it's hard to trust someone again. Especially when you've never met them. I already said it, didn't I? School played a big part in that. It's not gonna go away just like that if we become friends. I can forgive you, but I can't forget it. We've started over, but it doesn't erase what happened. But recently I've noticed that when I want to talk to someone, to get their opinion, you're on my list now. After my mom, of course. I don't know. I mean, I've always found it easy to talk to you, even back then. You're, um, <clears throat> you're becoming a good friend, I suppose. You're the only one around. But compared to people I regularly talk to online, you're definitely top three. <laughs> wow, you're really going to try and be number one. Well, good luck with that. You sound confident enough, so I'm curious to see how you're going to claim that spot. Hey, don't throw that back in my face! You know you're a charmer, you're just naturally good at it. Sh shut up, I haven't fallen for it. I'm not blushing! I won't give you any dinner! Oh wow, so you're going to keep the tips all to yourself. <laughs> you're so stingy. Well, I guess you don't want to see the art I did of Rinji and Byakuya. Yeah, I thought that changed your tune. Rinji used to be your favourite, right? It's not hard to remember. This took me forever. <laughs> Can you tell? I can't remember how many layers I used for this, but I was also experimenting because I bought a new program. And I wanted to do something really ambitious, even though I knew I should have taken it slow. Like, uh, you see the leaves? I kept having to redo the shadows because I just couldn't get them right. And I thought the program was glitching, but it turned out I was just a dumbass and had the wrong settings on. Hey, I learnt and I got better. Like you didn't burn food when you first started.